Science is a superpower, and in this episode, we're pushing the limits of the science of strength. What does it mean to be strong? Is it all about big muscles or a determined mindset? Is it about tall, powerful structures or lots of interconnections? Let's find out. Mel, thank you so much for inviting me into your playground. Can you tell us a little bit about where we are? Holly, we are in the Marine Invertebrates Collection. So this is the collection that I help to manage. I'm basically like a librarian, but animals in jars instead of books on shelves. I just got to say first, when I think of strength, I don't necessarily think of invertebrates. You kind of associate vertebrates and skeletons with being the strong animals in the kingdom. Yeah, you're thinking all about muscles, aren't you? I am, yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes it's true and sometimes it's not. So for example, have you seen a mantis shrimp before? The special thing about this animal mm. is that it has the strongest punch of any animal in the animal kingdom. How it's is it so, so strong? <laughs> it actually uses like a spring and latch mechanism and okay. it stores all this energy and then it punches really fast. Wow. So it can punch probably about 50 times faster than you can blink. No way. Yes. That's incredible. So they've been known to smash divers' masks or even aquariums, so. <laughs> yeah. People talk about, you know, having an interaction with a yeah, shark. Yeah, yeah. So, in nature, often a dome like this yeah. is very thin, but it's also very strong. Yeah. Are you ready for a challenge? I would love a challenge. <laughs> All right. I have an egg for you. Please pick it up with your right hand. Okay, I've tried this before. Okay. I am All astounded. Right. Show me, show me. I want to see. By how strong they are. I can't... They are, aren't they? So remember wow. I said that dome shape? It spreads the weight quite evenly. It really so does. So it makes it really, really strong. I, I actually couldn't believe how strong this, this was. Move it to your other hand. Okay. What's different about this hand? Aha! Uh -huh. So no more even weight distribution now. And that should be enough. Should be enough. All right, let's, let's try. try. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that happened a fair bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> so now you can see how a chick can break through the egg with its beak. Yeah, of course. Uh, while a hen that sits on the eggs won't crush them. That's such an interesting yeah. point. But it also makes me think about too, in terms of strength, is when we think about our own strength and say our mental strength. Mm -hmm. The idea of not having one thing we rely on, you know, to look no. after ourselves, and the idea that if we have the distributed weight, friends, and you know, mm -hmm. exercise and mindfulness mm -hmm. and nature and things like that, that much better supports us to be strong. That's right. Spread the love. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. And the and egg. The egg. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Hi, Holly. Hey, Cat. What on earth have we got here? Well, I heard that you like to work out, so I've got a little bit of a challenge for you to okay. test your strength. And you know it's serious, I've, I've rolled up my sleeves. You have, like, I better serious. roll mine up. I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> All right, I want you to lift this bag. Okay. It's just a gym bag. It's just, good, just, right? a gym bag. <laughs> just a gym bag. I feel bag. like you might be leading me astray there. Gosh, this feels heavy. <laughs> oh, I can just oh, yeah. lift it. <laughs> So it's hard to lift things that are really, really heavy, but I have a very simple machine that can help you do the job. Bring that down and see if you can use that to help you. There we go. Okay, so firstly, I'm noticing there are lots of loops here. Why are there more than one? Well, with all these loops, essentially it's, the pulley is giving you a mechanical advantage. What it means is that the more rope you use, that you don't have to use as much force. Okay, Yeah. cool. So it decreases the amount of force you need to I'm intrigued for how much easier this is going to be because it's so hard to lift this before. Yay! Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> but also, you might find that it's easier to pull the rope down rather than to, like, make it go up, right? Yeah, yeah. It's changing the direction so that you can use gravity to help you. Ah, so we've got two advantages working for me. I'm just going to kick this over. All right. <laughs> lower it back down. Bullseye. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Challenge complete. So you've seen how pulleys can make work easier. Pulleys are types of simple machines, but you probably know that because simple machines are everywhere. Where have you seen a pulley before? Cranes, wells, elevators, sailing ships, window blinds. All these things use pulley systems to make work easier. Have a look around your house. What simple machines do you use every day? I'm very excited. It looks like we're about to do some actual rocket science. So what we've got here is bottled rockets. Okay. I'm going to figure out which amount of water versus amount of air gets us the highest rocket. All right. So we've got the one that's got a lot more water in it, a lot less air up first. So I, I pump. 
See what happens? Yeah, it's all about air pressure. So put okay. maybe at least one foot on there right. and might take a few pumps. Whoa, we can see the water. Yeah. I have really no idea how high this is going to go. I'm intrigued. You look poised, ready to run. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Not very high. Though. Not very high. That didn't go high at all. So this one's got a lot less water in it. All right. Excited to see what happens. All right, me too. All right, let's pump. Oh, got a bit more bubble action this time around. Might take a few more pumps. Okay. Got a lot more space for that air to fill up. It is true. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> so Nina, why did that second rocket go so much higher? All right, so the way that the bottle rocket works is we have some air in here yep. and it wants to get out. Okay. As you pump more and more air in, we're pushing against every surface of the bottle, Yep. pushing down at the water. Eventually, we're going to build up so much pressure that it's going to be able to burst out through this little weak point here at the tip. By having more space for air, yep. that helps us out as well, but also there's less heavy water for it to fight against so we can get way more lift. Wow, it's amazing. Like Not in the scheme of it, that much difference in water and yet a massive difference in terms of how high the rocket went. Absolutely. If we had a really huge rocket and could fit in more air, we probably would have gotten even more height. Wow. Who would have thought that air could be so strong and powerful? I know. <laughs> I've learned a lot about strength today. It's not about so much the use of force as it is about how to leverage the forces of nature. Even air can propel a rocket up into the sky or keep a jumbo jet up in the air. So, Holly, if I asked you how you would move that now, what would you say? With a whole lot of help from my friends. Hey, everyone, can you come help us? 